Between Adventures Between trips to dungeons and battles against ancient evils, adventurers need time to rest, recuperate, and prepare for their next adventure. Many adventurers also use this time to perform other tasks, such as crafting arms and armour, performing research, or spending their hard-earned gold. In some cases, the passage of time is something that occurs with little fanfare or description. When starting a new adventure, the GM might simply declare that a certain amount of time has passed, and allow you to describe in general terms what your character has been doing. At other times, the GM might want to keep track of just how much time is passing, as events beyond your perception stay in motion. Lifestyle Expenses Between adventures, you choose a particular quality of life and pay the cost of maintaining that lifestyle. Living a particular lifestyle doesn't have a huge effect on your character, but your lifestyle can affect the way other individuals and groups react to you. For example, when you lead an aristocratic lifestyle, it might be easier for you to influence the nobles of the city than if you live in poverty. Downtime Actions Between adventures, the GM might ask you what your character is doing during his or her downtime. Periods of downtime can vary in duration, but each downtime activity requires a certain number of days to complete before you gain any benefit, and at least 8 hours of each day must be spent on the downtime activity for the day to count. The days do not need to be consecutive. If you have more than the minimum amount of days to spend, you can keep doing the same thing for a longer period of time, or switch to a new downtime activity. Downtime activities other than the ones presented below are possible. If you want your character to spend his or her downtime performing an activity not covered here, discuss it with your games master. Crafting You can craft non-magical objects including adventuring equipment and works of art. You must be proficient with tools related to the object you are trying to create, typically artisan's tools. You might also need access to special materials or locations necessary to create it. For example, someone proficient with smith's tools needs a forge in order to craft a sword or suit of armour. For every day of downtime you spend crafting, you can craft one or more items with a total market value not exceeding 5 gold pieces, and you must expend raw materials worth half the total market value. If something you want to craft has a market value greater than 5 gold pieces, you make progress every day in 5 gold piece increments until you reach the market value of the item. For example, a suit of plate armour, market value 1500 gold pieces, takes 300 days to craft by yourself. Multiple characters can combine their efforts towards the crafting of a single item, provided that the characters all have proficiency with the requisite tools, and are working together in the same place. Each character contributes 5 gold pieces worth of effort for every day spent helping to craft the item. For example, 3 characters with the requisite tool proficiency and the proper facilities can craft a suit of plate armour in 100 days, at a total cost of 750 gold pieces. While crafting, you can maintain a modest lifestyle without having to pay 1 gold piece per day, or a comfortable lifestyle at half the normal cost. Practicing a profession You can work between adventures, allowing you to maintain a modest lifestyle without having to pay one gold piece per day. This benefit lasts as long as you continue to practice your profession. If you are a member of an organisation that can provide gainful employment, such as a temple or a thieves guild, you earn enough to support a comfortable lifestyle instead. If you have proficiency in the performance skill and put your performance skill to use during your downtime, you earn enough to support a wealthy lifestyle instead. Recuperating You can use downtime between adventures to recover from a debilitating injury, disease or poison. After three days of downtime spent recuperating, you can make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. On a successful save, you can choose one of the following results. End one effect on you that prevents you from regaining hit points. For the next 24 hours, gain advantage on saving throws against one disease or poison currently affecting you. Researching The time between adventures is a great chance to perform research, gaining insight into mysteries that have unfurled over the course of the campaign. Research can include poring over dusty tomes and crumbling scrolls in a library, 
or buying drinks for the locals to pry rumours and gossip from their lips. When you begin your research, the Games Master determines whether the information is available, how many days of downtime it will take to find it, and whether there are any restrictions on your research, such as needing to seek out a specific individual, tome, or location. The Games Master might also require you to make one or more ability checks, such as an intelligence investigation check to find clues pointing towards the information you seek, or a charisma persuasion check to secure someone's aid. Once those conditions are met, you'd learn the information, if it is available. For each day of research, you must spend one gold piece to cover your expenses. This cost is in addition to your normal lifestyle expenses. Training You can spend time between adventures learning a new language or training with a set of tools. Your Games Master might allow additional training options. First, you must find an instructor willing to teach you. The GM determines how long it takes, and whether one or more ability checks are required. The training lasts for 250 days, and costs one gold piece per day. After you spend the requisite amount of time and money, you learn the new language, or gain proficiency with the new tool. <laughs>